Hey guys, this is Nick with Book of Nick. It is Thursday, February 24th, 2011. I just wanted to let you guys know that an article that I submitted to copblock.org has been posted today. The article is titled The Absurdity of Self-Defense Restrictions, and I'll read you guys the first couple paragraphs of the article, and then I'll, I'll put the link below so you guys can go visit the website, comment on it, and uh, check out copblock.org on a regular basis. Uh, they update their website pretty much every day, and uh, their posts are mostly about police abuse, police brutality, and it contains a lot of raw video footage of police officers behaving badly. And in this crazy world where police really aren't uh, held accountable for their actions, you know, if a police kills an innocent person, uh, you know, the worst that will happen to them is paid leave. So. In, in a world where, the, where cops really aren't held accountable, it's really up to us to do that. And copblock.org does a really good job of that. So here's my article. It's titled, The Absurdity of Self-Defense Restrictions. Self-defense laws are contradictory. Our supposed leaders love to bellow loudly about respecting individual rights in the Constitution of the United States of America while quietly taking away those rights described within it. Like a third-rate magician performing a cheap trick, the, poli the modern politician will turn up the music and wave one hand in the air, while the other hand is under the table, reaching for the fixed deck of cards. In the realm of self-defense, the Constitution, which the politician will claim to value, states that, quote, The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is widely accepted to mean that the restrictions regarding the ownership and carrying of firearms are unlawful. True freedom-loving people should and do consider laws discouraging firearms ownership offensive. Today, carrying a gun without government permission is, in most places, a jailable offense, regardless of whether or not an actual offense has been committed. While this may be unjust, the politicians don't stop there. In some cities, you may be handcuffed and thrown in a cage for carrying an item far, far less dangerous and deadly than a gun. You will be incarcerated for carrying an item that most would never give a second thought about bringing with them during their day's activities, an item that has many practical uses beyond self-defense. What is this item? A pocket knife. I know because I was arrested last spring in New York City for carrying a small folding blade in my pocket. So you guys can go to coppablock.org and you guys can see the video that I have. Uh, this is actually posted on my YouTube page if you guys want to take a look, but go to copblock.org. You guys can read the rest of my article there and uh, comment. Let me know what you think and have a great day. Thanks, guys. copblock.org.